quite chilly this morning. Absolutely. 43 right now in Slidell. There, there you go. You go. <laughs> it is it is a chilly start to the day in the 40s. It's also a cloudy start to the day as well. Take a look at your temperatures across the area. 41 degrees for places like Hammond and Bogalusa. Those are our cool spots and our warmest spot is only 49 degrees and that is Galliano. 46 in Homa, 47 Bell Chase at the airport and at the lakefront. It's also breezy out there. There's a 24 mile per hour wind that was clocked at the lakefront. 12 mile per hour breeze in Bell Chase, 14 Galliano, 8 in Slidell and Bogalusa, 10 in Gulfport. So we do have the Saints game today. If you're tailgating, be prepared for mostly cloudy skies, chilly temperatures around 49, 50 degrees and a brisk breeze out of the northeast. It'll be 15 to 20 20 miles an hour, so it'll feel windy out there at times. By kickoff, we're only at 52 degrees, and by the end of the game, moving towards the middle 50s, and it will be partly sunny then. So clouds will be decreasing throughout the day today. It's starting mostly cloudy. You'll see a little bit more sunshine later in the afternoon. Still chilly, though, still sitting in the middle 50s out there, and it will again be breezy throughout the day today. Then tonight it's mostly clear and cold temperatures drop down into the 30s on the North Shore, the 40s on the South Shore. It will be breezy on the South Shore, but on the North Shore, I think it will be calm. So we'll have to watch out for the potential for some frost for some of you on the North Shore tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, there is a slow warm up that begins. Temperatures rise towards 60 degrees. I think a lot of us move into the 60s tomorrow. It will be mostly sunny as well. We'll still see some clouds around but you'll definitely notice more sunshine tomorrow than we will see today or especially yesterday. Temperatures again rising into the 60s. Only an isolated shower possible late in the day because rain chances try to come back Monday night into Tuesday morning. A little system moves on by, but I'm only going now with a 20% chance of rain overnight Monday night. So today the 10% chance of rain is for far coastal areas as we're still watching that system move south. But then tomorrow it would be a 10% later in the day with a 20% percent overnight and then the 10 percent for Tuesday morning, early morning. We are dry on Wednesday and temperatures continue to rise. So today again, highs only in the 50s, but tomorrow we are near 60 degrees. By Tuesday, we are moving into the 60s and by Wednesday, we are back at 70 degrees. I know that feels and seems warm compared to where we have been, but this is normal for this time of year. 70 degrees is seasonable. We have been feeling much more like January over the past week. So we are back to 70 degrees on Wednesday and again on Thursday, which of course is Thanksgiving. So in the morning, 8 a.m., right around 61 degrees and then rising towards 70 degrees in the afternoon hours, 2, 3 o'clock, hitting that 70 degree mark and then falling back down into the 60s for Thanksgiving evening, right around 61 degrees again by 8 p.m. Right now I have rain chances rising throughout the day, so models are still in total disagreement when the rain is going to arrive, but one has started to push back. Well, really both of them have started to push back a little bit later. So I'm thinking right now the afternoon stays dry and we start to see those rain chances return Thursday evening and overnight Thursday night. But of course that will move into Friday morning, which is Black Friday. So a lot of you shoppers probably wanting to pay close attention to that. To that we'll keep a close eye on that next system. All right, Lee, thank you and hoping to avoid